In this particular problem, I am going to talk about something called as the, it should not be numeric, it should be a character palindrome. So what I am going to do in this particular palindrome problem is, suppose I have an input like madam. If I spell it from left to right or right to left, it spells the same. Now in place of madam, I could have 1001. This is also the same, but not really a good example. So the best example of a palindrome is the word Malayalam. Now this also is a palindrome. This is not a palindrome because one way I spell it from left to right, it is R-O-A-R. The other way is R-A-O-R. So this is not a palindrome. First, let's try to understand how this particular problem can be solved using just a single array. So what I have done is, I have taken one variable i with the value 0 and another variable j with the 4. j is equal to representing m, the first m, and j represents the last character of this particular string m. So I am going to compare 0 with 4. So far, so good. Then I increase i by 1, I increase decrease j by 1. So I am comparing a with a. Here also I am ok. Then what I do is I again increase i by 1. i becomes 2, decrease j by 1, j becomes 2. Again I am comparing d with d. So at this point I should stop comparing because I have completed comparing the entire string. How do I stop? The condition will be as long as the value of i is less than or equal to the length of the string by 2. What is the length of this string? This is 5. 5 divided by 2 integer division is 2. So as long as the value of i is less than or equal to 2, I should keep comparing the characters of i with j. The minute i becomes 1 more than 2, I should stop. And once I come out of the loop, if the value of i is greater than or equal to j, then I am saying that string is a numeric palindrome. Sorry, it's a character palindrome, else it's not a palindrome. Take a look at this example okay it's of even number of characters so j is 3 i is 0 1 and 1 we compare both are same now j becomes 2 i becomes 1 what is the length of the string length of the string is 4 upon 2 is 2 so i is 1 and j is 2 this is the first position and this is the second position they are the same no problem so far now i becomes 2 j becomes 1 so now what happens? I is this particular fellow, J is this particular fellow. We are still okay. Now since I has exceeded the value of string length by 2, I will come out and I will check. What I can do is I'll type this code. I'll run through a few examples and then explain. It will be quite easy. So I have defined an array called as str with the size 50. I is 0 j is not given any value. You will understand the purpose of i and j very shortly. I am asking the user to input a string for checking a palindrome. So let us say using scanf percentage s, I enter a string str. Now since string length is going to give me the exact number of strings, the string length of madam is going to be 5, but I want to come to m. So what I am doing is from the string length of str, I am minusing 1 and that particular value I am assigning to j. Now let us see how do I continue this particular process. While the value of i is less than or equal to string length of str by 2. As long as this condition is true, I am continuing in this loop. Here what I am doing is if str of i, okay, I am saying is not equal to str of j, alright, you simply need to break out of this while loop. Otherwise, I am doing very simple things. I am increasing the value of i by 1 and I am decreasing the value of, sorry, j by 1 because i moves from left to right, j decreases from right to left. Then after this is done, I am just using a very simple logic here. I am coming outside and I am trying to say, if i is greater than or equal to j, that means it's a successful palindrome. That means the input string is a palindrome. So I'm going to say percentage yes is a P-A-L-I-N-D-R-O-M-E. And I'm going to give the name of the string. All right. Else, any other situation, I'm going to say percentage is, yes is not a palindrome. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say percentage yes is 
not a palindrome as usual what we'll do is first we'll take this particular piece of code we'll run it using the online gdb compiler and then we'll try to verify whether things look okay or not in case it doesn't look okay then there's definitely we need to figure out what is the reason for that so let me copy this particular thing so let me try to compile it and hope it compiles all right lucky so what we'll do is we'll enter the word madam so according to us madam should be a palindrome so it's going to perfectly say madam is a palindrome let's enter a big one let's enter malayalam and let's see if it works okay m a l a y a l a m i hope i have spelled it correct so now let's see if it's okay we're lucky it's spelled malayalam also as a palindrome now let's take some string and let's try to test out if it works it as a palindrome or not so let us say m a d o y a d o y a m okay now it should say this is not a palindrome so it clearly says madam is not a palindrome now the way this really works is let me try to run it for one case where it is a palindrome and then i'll help you understand let's take madam itself all right and let's say it's a palindrome so we'll keep track of values of i and j so you'll be able to easily understand how this particular program works all right so let's put the values of i here let's put the values of j here so initially j is equal to string length of str minus 1 what is the string length of madam it is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 so initially j is 4 okay the first time here let's put the value of i and j i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 4 so what i am doing is i am comparing the zeroth character with the fourth character this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 both m so i am comparing so this condition is false i is increased by 1 j is increased by 1 so i becomes 1 j becomes reduces by 1 becomes 3 so 1 is less than or equal to 2 still false now i is 1 j is 3 a is compared with a still this condition is false so i is increased to 2 okay we'll make it 2 here j is from 3 also becomes 2 we're still okay because 2 is still less than or equal to 2 now when i come here i is also 2 j is also 2 so what is the second character d d is the second character so since d is the second character this if again fails now what happens i ends up becoming 3 j ends up becoming 1 all right now since this has happened when i come out here if the value of i is greater than or equal to j i am going to say the input string is a palindrome else the input string is not a palindrome and i am going to return i have done this particular logic so that if the number of characters are odd it works let us take some input an imaginary input where the number of characters are even and let's see if it works because it should work in every case so what i am going to do is let me enter the word noon okay noon is the same from left to right and right to left so this again noon is a palindrome that means it's working in every case so i would suggest take some sample input try to test out this and figure out whether you are able to run through the code or not you need to be able to do these kind of programs in strings to develop the necessary confidence